Today, let us discuss correlation amplitude and the energy time uncertainty relation. First, let me say, take some amount of salt and I am keeping it in an open space. After a while, some amount of the salt will dissolve into water and the remaining portion will be this uh, portion will be salt crystal itself and after after another duration of time the remaining portion also will be dissolved into water okay so from this state to this state or some intermediate states will be there because this is a gradual process this is happening gradually the salt is dissolving into water uh, gradually but, um, the whole amount is salt crystals and at uh, t equal to one second uh, some amount okay some amount some amount dissolved into salt solution and later uh, some more amount dissolved into water finally uh, this again again represent as um, t equal to t equal to 2 second and finally at t equal to 3 second uh, this whole amount of uh, salt is dissolved into a salt solution okay see if, if I am considering this at this particular time um, I can I can see a part of salt crystals dissolved into water and a part uh, remain as crystal itself hmm. and then I can understand I can I can go to this state some more portion uh, has dissolved into water and the remaining portions um, are in the crystal form itself okay so uh, in this figure at each time I can measure how much amount is remaining as salt crystals and how much amount is dissolved uh, into water okay so the correlation amplitude is also like that correlation amplitude up to what extent the state kit at later time t is similar to the state kit at t equal to zero in this figure in the third state up to what extent the salt remains in the form of crystal this is the question okay here I am asking this this question and the similar similar concept I am explaining here okay if you are considering one state at time t equal to 0 and uh, that is uh, at time t equal to 0 we are considering you let, let uh, that state be alpha and at later time we are considering uh, that state itself at later time that is alpha t okay while taking this inner product we mean that how much amount of alpha is there in alpha at t okay up to what extent up to what extent the state get at later time t is similar to state get at t equal to zero okay at what extent the salt crystal um, uh, is there in this solution at time t equal to 2 when we uh, keep the salt in the open air okay similar concept we are discussing here and uh, let me take a state at time t equal to 0 as alpha and the correlation amplitude we are representing uh, this as correlation amplitude that is c of t equal to alpha alpha t equal to 0 at t okay as usual we are taking a single state that is a dash okay single state a dash or alpha we can represent as a dash single state a dash and uh, we are taking we are considering the correlation amplitude we are taking c of t equal to a dash a dash t equal to 0 t okay that is equal to <coughs> leave this question 
okay that is equal to a dash u of t zero because this is time evolution operator this is operating on a dash and we will get uh, an eigen uh, eigen value this is an operator u uh, this is the form of time evolution operator is to minus i h t over h cross operating on a dash and that lead to a dash at t okay that is equal to if uh, if this operator is operating on this we will get as um, we will get an eigen value e raised to minus i e a dash t over h cross okay and the mode of this correlation amplitude is known as resemblance hmm. uh, so here we are taking when we are taking a single state uh, mode of this uh, correlation amplitude that is mode means uh, mode means c star c okay that we will get e raised to i e a dash t over h cross into e, e raised to minus i e a dash t over h cross hmm. and that is equal to we will get 1 okay this we expected because this is a single state hmm. this is a single state so at later time also at later time the mode of uh, the state is not changing and later time also the state is not changing uh, so uh, at later time t also we are getting this uh, correlation amplitude mode of this correlation amplitude that is equal to 1 hmm. then we will consider the superposition of states that is alpha we can represent c a dash a dash plus c a double dash a double dash plus etc okay and bra alpha that is equal to sum of a dash c a dash c a dash bra a dash okay at later time alpha t alpha at t we can represent sum of a double dash c a double dash e raised to minus i a double dash t over h cross operating on a double dash okay <coughs> then we are finding the correlation amplitude we got alpha we define alpha uh, we define alpha to t and alpha t equal to 0 is sum of a dash c a dash um, a dash into at time t alpha we can uh, represent it as uh, sum of a double dash c a double dash a raised to minus i a double dash t over h cross uh, a double dash okay we can expand this term like this that is c a dash c a dash star a dash plus c a double dash star a double dash plus etc and we can expand this term Mm, like this c a dash e raised to minus a e a dash t over h cross a plus etc okay if we are multiplying with this you know uh, when we are multiplying with this term with first term in this um, in this uh, series uh, we will get c a dash square a raised to minus i uh, e a dash t over h cross mm. uh, when we are multiplying uh, when we are taking the inner product of a dash and a dash we will get one if you are taking this a dash with the second term that is a double dash we will get that is that is equal to zero so uh, we need to consider the first term in this uh, this series into this one and the second term into the second term and so on okay and we we'll, uh, uh, we get uh, we get that is equal to c a dash square e raised to uh, minus i e a dash t over h cross plus etc okay uh, by using summation um, we can write some uh, uh, sum of a dash c a dash square e raised to minus i e a dash t over h cross and we can represent it as equation a okay um, here when we are finding the correlation amplitude correlation amplitude means up to what extent uh, the state at time t equal to 0 remains at time uh, t okay so when we are taking that correlation amplitude we are getting this term this term <coughs> we are summing this term and e a dash divided by h cross is in the uh, is in the dimension of frequency so we are summing uh, many frequencies uh, we are summing uh, summing over many frequencies and that will get cancelled uh, when the time t is increasing okay i'm going to explain more concrete later 
uh, for that um, um, let us take a quasi continuous spectrum okay now we have taken uh, a discrete spectrum because uh, we have taken a state alpha as uh, sum of a dash plus a double dash some um, this uh, you know expansion coefficients are there in this uh, space and uh, I'm just saying that uh, we have taken the set uh, alpha or state alpha as some of some discrete states and now we are going to consider a quasi continuous spectrum because it's not completely continuous it's a quasi continuous it's not completely discrete a quasi continuous system and uh, we are replacing for summation over a a dash equal to integral d rho e okay this uh, this rho e is density of states okay density of states density of states means within a some particular energy range how many different energy values are there that is rho of e that is density of states and uh, uh, we are replacing uh, replacing this integral for the sum of a dash okay and the for expansion coefficient uh, expansion coefficient we are replacing c a dash as g of e okay that is uh, uh, that is known as degeneracy degeneracy okay uh, that means how many states are there in this system with the same eigenvalues that is known as degeneracy so we are rewriting, rewriting uh, this equation for uh, equation for the um, c of t correlation amplitude that is sum of a dash c a dash square e raised to minus a a dash t over h cross uh, and we are re, uh, rewriting with this uh, this representations instead of sum of a dash integral d e rho e rho e is density of states um, density of states how many number of states is there in uh, this energy range and is a dash equal to g of e uh, at e equal to e a dash this is g of e is degeneracy uh, degeneracy okay so we can write equation a as expression a becomes c of t equal to integral d e g of e whole square rho of e e raised to minus i e t over h cross that means mm -hmm. how many uh, number of states are there in this energy uh, interval uh, with e raised to minus i e t with this eigenvalue and how many times we are getting this eigenvalues if more times we are getting the same eigenvalue then probability of uh, the system to be in that state will be more okay uh, so uh, this is subjected to normalization condition integral uh, de g of e whole square rho of e equal to 1 this is analogous to sum of a dash c a dash whole square equal to 1 okay in a realistic situation integral g of e whole square rho of e may be peaked around e equal to e naught with width delta e okay and some particular energy states the probability will be more uh, and that energy state we are considering we are taking as e naught okay uh, so we are uh, rewriting the correlation amplitude uh, correlation amplitude c of t that is equal to integral d g of e whole square rho of e e raised to minus i e t over h cross into we are multiplying with this term okay this into this will get equal to 1 and we are taking this term outside that is equal to e raised to minus i e naught t over h cross integral d e g of e whole square rho e raised to minus i e minus e naught t over h cross okay and inside this integral this is an oscillating term and this this term is oscillating uh, with an angular frequency e minus e naught over h cross okay that is omega equal to e minus e naught over h cross omega is 2 pi divided by t where t is the time period that is equal to e minus e naught over h cross and t equal to we will get 2 pi h cross over e minus e naught hmm? okay and 
that is equal to that implies time period divided by 2 equal to pi h cross um, over e minus e naught that is equal to uh, pi minus pi h cross uh, over e minus e naught uh, and uh, here I am explaining something something else uh, which is related to uh, which is related to up to what extent up to what time this old state or other state alpha will retain uh, its behavior okay uh, that means when we are taking if if t is more okay we are considering a large time period we are considering a large time uh, then uh, this term will oscillate uh, sinusoidally that means there will be positive terms there will be negative terms there will be positive terms there will be negative terms if you are considering a large time then this positive when we are integrating this function this oscillating term will get cancelled because positive terms are there negative portions are there so uh, by integrating uh, this means we are adding all the areas and uh, finally we will get zero okay so if you are taking the time t equal to t by 2 that here we are considering t by 2 that is equal to pi h cross over e minus e naught that t equal to uh, t by 2 then uh, if you are integrating we will not get a zero value or this uh, integral will be a finite value and up to that time up to that time uh, this state alpha will not lose its original form okay up to this time that is uh, t equal to pi h cross uh, over e minus e naught so h cross uh, that is we can we can um, modify it like this h cross is approximately equal to delta e into delta t okay this is uh, this is energy energy time time uncertainty uncertainty relation energy time uncertainty relation okay 